Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. I am back with another book makeover video, and this time I have a couple of wire coil bound books to fix. I bought this small notebook from the dollar store, and it was kind of thrown in in the pile, and I think that's where it got its damage from. The back cover is coming off. This sketchbook isn't from the dollar store, but it was on clearance at Michael's because yeah, just look at the wire coil. My guess is that it got shoved repeatedly into the shelf and maybe that's how the coil got bent. Of course, I want to try and fix the coils on these books, but I also think the covers could use a little bit of an upgrade. So let's see what I can come up with. As usual, links to the supplies I use, including timestamps, will be in the description below. This dollar store notebook has polyvinyl covers and there's kind of an awkward pocket on the front cover. The coil could use some fixing and the back is coming off, but overall the book is in decent condition. The inside pages are a little bit on the thin side because it is dollar store paper, but overall not that bad of a notebook to work with. While I was at the dollar store, I did also see some polyvinyl folders, which I thought could work as a replacement for these covers. They're pretty much the same thickness and personally I think this houseplant pattern's more fun. Maybe I can also change the color of the wire coil since I do have a turquoise spray paint on hand that matches the folder. To remove the coil, I did some of it by hand and some with needle nose pliers. Opening it just enough so I can remove pages in groups. Then a couple of coats of spray paint later, I now have a turquoise wire coil. Then for the new covers, I'm using the original as a template, placing it on the bottom corner where the pocket will be on the lower inside, then trimming it out. Now I'm going to tape the original to my cover so I have a template for where the holes should be pierced. I'm going to use my screw punch for this, but you could also use a regular hole punch. I thought it was worth mentioning, you can get your own wire coil binding machine and they come in different prices. These don't remove the coil, but they can punch the holes and close the coil for you. This type is a wire O machine that can punch a larger amount of holes, but it's also about $200. A popular one among crafters is the cinch binding machine, which can come in the $80 range. And as far as I know, you can use any brand of wire for any machine. You can also use plastic spiral coils, which don't require any clamping together. I have had some requests to try the Bind It All machine, which is in the $50 range, but I have been curious about it. Let me know if you'd still like to see this or some other binding machine review on my channel. Since I don't have any of these machines, I'm going to do this the manual way, which is punching every single hole by hand with my screw punch. This is made for paper, not polyvinyl, so I did have to empty the bit out frequently to keep going and rounded out the corners to match the original. I repeated that whole process to make the back cover. Now I have both and the coil, and now it's all ready to put back together. To avoid confusion, I like to start with the pages first, making sure the opening is on the last page in the back of the book, then the front cover and the back cover. The pliers kind of scratched the spray paint off the coil, so I ended up just closing it with my fingers and that way was actually easier. So I guess I upgraded this notebook to a $2 notebook given the price of the folder. I was able to press the coil together more so none of the covers are going to come off. The wire isn't exactly straight as you can see, but even so, I think this is a successful makeover. I did want to keep the pocket idea based on the original, but I like the design of this one more and they're less flimsy. Nothing changed about the pages, but that little pop of color on the coil, I think adds a little something. This sketchbook that I found on Clarence really only has a messed up coil. Everything else is in pretty good condition. The hard covers are nice, the sketch paper inside is really good quality. I thought I would really have to work at molding the wire back together, but surprisingly, it was easy to just push back together. It seems to be a softer wire, which might be its downfall and why it was so bent in the first place. I don't know why I just closed this. I was probably excited to just fix it, but then I decided to spray paint the coil, so I'm going to undo the whole thing. 
Remove the covers and the pages and try a gold spray paint on this one. Though there's nothing wrong with the covers, I can't just leave them blank. I need to do something to them and I was inspired by the whole houseplant thing from the previous pattern. But for this one, I'm taking inspiration from my own houseplants. I want to tape off this section here, leave it black, and then paint my own design here. I mixed up some acrylic paint to kind of match the colors of the first notebook, so at this point you can sit back and enjoy this little painting montage. Now that my new cover is dry, I can put my new kind of gold, not as bright gold as I thought it would be, coil onto all the pages. Then the front cover and the back cover. Again, since the wire is on the softer side, I was able to press it all closed with my fingers. I do think that process would be easier on my hands if I had a vise or a machine, but somehow I made it work. And now I think this looks more my style and more fun to sketch in. I might spray some clear varnish on the painted area to protect it, and I left the back blank since I won't really see that as much. I really like how this painting turned out and I think I'm going to digitize it and turn it into an art print postcard which I send to my patrons every month. If you're interested in getting postcards and stickers, check out the link below. It also supports my channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in general, hit that like button. It helps me know that you like this type of content. I do have another slightly damaged book that I picked up from the clearance section and it's a photo album. I've been hanging on to it for a while because I don't quite know what to do with it yet. But if you want to see that video, make sure you are subscribed and signed up for notifications so you don't miss it. You can check out more DIY book projects here above Kona and all of these links again will be down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.